Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Join me as we uncover unique energy solutions across Canada. Every week, we'll bring you the stories of people in businesses and communities who are changing the way we power this country. We've all heard of the furnace repairman, but what about the geothermal furnace technologist? He's a guy who could fix this unit right here. Today, we're in Nate's Alternative Energy Lab. Here, they have working solar, wind, geothermal, and even fuel cell systems. Plus, they have some of the best experts in the field. Today, we're gonna to learn about how it all works and what it means to our energy future. currently up on the roof you can see that we have our solar PV array here we've got a number of different types of modules and other technologies that the students will be studying uh, our program is brand new we started just in 2011 in September and uh, this is currently second semester for our students uh, the, the original uh, program startup happened under the previous administration, Dr. Sam Shaw and uh, the, the vice presidents of NATE. I think they were really seeing the opportunity at, uh, in, within Alberta to grow the industry. But I think it's really time within Alberta to uh, start moving towards the, the other types of energy production, uh, moving uh, away from purely coal and purely uh, natural gas towards other options, uh, many of which are renewables. The NATE Alternative Energy Program is really designed to fill a huge knowledge gap out there by teaching students about a whole range of green technologies. Jim Sandercock explains. The, uh, the students, of course, the biggies include uh, solar, and that can be solar PV, which makes electricity. Uh, photovoltaic, solar thermal where you're making domestic hot water in most cases. Um, the wind course of course is uh, important especially for southern Alberta and western Alberta. There is uh, another course on geothermal which is a geo exchange where you're basically making exchanges with the ground to be efficient. Uh, there's an uh, increasingly important course on biofuels and this is something where it also gets into that carbon capture and carbon sequestration side. Uh, and then we have additional courses after that uh, as well to cover things like uh, fuel cell and some other exotic future looking uh, technologies. Not everything about the fuel cell is big and complicated. As student Rayanne Wadey explains. We have a hydrogen fuel cell car. There's a fuel cell right here that produces the power to run it and this is the storage balloon for the hydrogen. This is our electrolyzer which produces hydrogen and oxygen with electrolysis and this is the hose that we hook it up to right here and fill the balloon up and it works like this. In addition to green technologies, students learn about economic analysis, project management, and even how to measure carbon footprints so they can figure out the other benefits of green tech. My name's Colton Causer. I'm from Bash, Alberta. It's a farming community in East Central Alberta. That's my background pretty much on the farm. I'm enrolled in the Alternative Energy Program because I think there's going to be a huge future in it for farming communities and, and basically all rural, rural areas. The reason why I enrolled in this program is because I think that's where the future is leading to. Uh, green technology seems to be the answer for things, for our problems environmentally and because the demand's increasing and uh, because I want to make a positive change in the world. Students are learning all sorts of surprising things about green energy. The most interesting thing I've learned is uh, the geothermal technology. I mean, it just blew my mind at how effective it is and how it can, you just take energy that's just sitting there in the ground. You can use it for cooling and heating. So how popular is the new program? Um, we have 24 spots total. The first time we had 144 applicants uh, and we're well on our way towards that goal again. I think from a social perspective, uh, there's a lot of interest by people and it's not exclusively people in the younger generation there's a very interesting mix of people who are enrolling in the program I think there'll be a lot of success. With green energy markets heating up in Ontario and other regions these graduates will be in hot demand. If you'd like to learn more visit our website at www.greenenergyfutures.ca we'd love to hear from you please visit our Facebook page or contact us on Twitter. I'm David Dodge Thank you for listening.